game, but now a five-point game with just under a minute to go because I'm counting these two. I'm amazed how low Steve has dropped in the league standing. He's now 10th in the league in free throw percentage at 88%. Oh, that's just hard. No, it's not, but it's amazing how many great free throw shooters there are. Kyle Porter leads the league at 93%. Five-point game, 57 seconds to go. No fouls to give. Obviously, Phoenix doesn't want to here. Dallas doesn't have one either. Must stop right here, guys. Got to have a stop for this game. But that's all she wrote. Can Steve Nash do anything to contain Jason Terry out in front? Involved with pick and roll, he might end up with Nowitzki here. Five to shoot. Terry says, get away. I got Sean Marion. I got three. In and out. Rebound by Nowitzki. And the offensive rebounding storyline of the night continues in that key possession. That's the game right there. The offensive rebounding. Alvin Gentry of the Phoenix Suns said that was the number one concern in this game. And the Dallas Mavericks have just absolutely manhandled the Phoenix Suns on the boards. We've seen teams for years try to just switch that casual interchange between Jason Terry and Dirk Nowitzki. It cost Phoenix dearly on that possession. 22 offensive rebounds for Dallas. As Nowitzki comes to the line here, I'm sure this sellout crowd will go into the MVP chant for Dirk with 25, 12 boards and six assists tonight. Rebound Stoudemire. Speaking of the MVP chant, the Mavericks hand out the MVP t-shirts to everybody, right? Yes. Mike D'Antoni's press conference before the game, at least six of the media members were wearing Dirk Nowitzki MVP t-shirts. Mike was looking at him and saying, what's going on here? I thought you were the objective media here. Four-point game. Josh Howard gets fouled. It's hard, so hard to foul either one of these teams. They are the top two free throw shooting teams in the league right at 80%. Dallas is 80.7, Phoenix is 80.6. Howard shoots him at 81%. He's improved to 73% career free throw shooting. Like since Gary Bourne was hired as the free throw coach here, the Mavericks have finished in the top six in the league each season in free throw shooting, including four first place finishes. Suns only have one timeout left. It's a four point game. Dallas still had, can stop it twice, so let's see how D'Antoni will play it here. I'd push here. That's the easiest yeah. time to get a three. You're going up the floor. Push it up here right now. Steve Nash, pull up and knock one down. Got to secure the rebound, and offensive rebounds have been the key for Dallas tonight. Yeah, they have 22 offensive rebounds. Dallas has 21 total defensive Here's rebounds. the make. Here's Nash. Got to take three. Got oh. foul shooting the three oh. by Howard. Oh. Chance to make it a two-point game with 14.4. No timeouts left. And Avery says, just give me the clipboard here. I got to start drawing up something. I can guarantee that Avery Johnson screamed, no foul. Don't foul the three-point shooter 20 times as Steve Nash brought that ball to the floor. And what does Josh Howard do? Leave his feet. And this savvy Steve Nash jumps into him. And he could make this a two-point game. Six and six at the line, 25 points, 14 assists, seven rebounds for Steve here tonight. I don't think he played particularly that great tonight, and yet his numbers <laughs> are 25 and 14. And a season high, seven rebounds. The first 14, 15 minutes of the game, he was fantastic. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Steve Nash has scored seven points in the last 43 seconds. <laughs> All the things we've been through, it's a one possession game. We got Neil Everett, Scott Van Pelt settling in. Sports Center available in high definition next. Post game coverage from here in Dallas. Dicky V sets the table for Thursday's NCAA games. And Pete Rose and betting on the Reds back in the news one more time. There are no fouls to give either way. Each team has a timeout. Dallas will advance it to the front court 28 feet away here in this two point game. Both teams great free throw shooting teams. Well, who do you go to here if, uh, if you're the Dallas Mavericks, Bill? You inbound the ball to Dirk Davids. You Davis. throw it in high. You got a good inbound. You find it. They put Amari Stoudemire over to pressure that inbound pass. Now Dirk oh, Davids. Don't put it down, Dirk. Just come to a stop. He needed to put that down to regain his balance. 
Did you talk to him earlier? Or no, he was, he was stumbling oh, okay. out of bounds there. He was going to get called for a traveling violation. The Barbosa was hanging right around. That was a dangerous play. Now, he makes two. Phoenix in a bit of trouble. But one, and we got ourselves a one-possession game. And I've seen Steve Nash do it before. Third in the league, though, Dirk Nowitzki at free throw percentage. As you put the kibosh on him again. Do you want to go for the three, or do you want the quick two? Are you going to take a timeout to talk about it here? I mean, let's watch what happens on the second free throw. Then Phoenix will have a decision to make. Got to get the rebound if he misses. He makes it. They're going. Oh, not going to take They're the going. Which they have left. So here we go. You have to go for the tie. And it's Nash. Down. He takes the three for the tie. It's short. They might get another chance. Marion hits Nash. Another three. Oh, it's no! Steve! <laughs> <laughs> three! Game time at 111! Oh, man! Oh. Dallas should have grabbed Sean Marion immediately on his long rebound. And put him in a free throw shooting situation. Now, when you see this replay, check out the pick. This is Nash's first where he's going to miss. Great offensive rebound, Sean Mary. Now, check out this pick on Buckner. Raja Bell throws Buckner out of the way. An official can't make that call at that stage of the game. Great, smart play by Raja Bell to free up Nash for the second attempt. Two years ago, game six yep. in the playoffs. Yep. Steve Nash makes that three pointer where they just ran away from him in transition defense. And then the game went to overtime, and Phoenix won that game to win the series, that Western Conference semifinal between these teams. Steve Nash has scored 10 points in the last 55 seconds, and now it might be in the hands of his best buddy, Dirk Nowitzki, who missed the key free throw a moment ago. But in the first second meeting between these teams, December 28th, in this building, it was Dirk inside of a couple of seconds, hitting what proved to be the game-winning shot in a 101-99 game. But he left the door open after that missed free throw on the front end of these two just a moment ago. Didn't I see one of these last June down in Miami? I, I, I thought in a, in a crucial game three. You go right back I, to it. But ironically, that defensive stance by Sean Marion on, on December 28th, he played in the same way. He leaves him on opening to his left. That just feeds right into Dirk's strengths. Inexplicable defense. All right, got away from Nash to get rid of his towels over there. He's coming off. It's Stackhouse, Dampier, Nowitzki, Howard, and Terry. Watch One a direct pass. I'm, I'm sorry, Mike. A direct pass into Jerry Stackhouse here. He's got Leandro Barbosa on him. Let's see what they do. Screen the screener. Have Stackhouse set a screen for Jason Terry along the baseline and then have him curl up to the top behind the double of Dampier <laughs> and Dirk Nowitzki. All the movement here in the matchups. Dallas must get it in. They do not have a timeout. 2.7. Here go the Mavs for the win. It's Nowitzki. This is for the win. It is! Oh. No good! And the game goes on to overtime. <laughs> and shouldn't it? Unbelievable. We can only be thankful. Absolutely. For going <laughs> More Phoenix Dallas basketball. The Phoenix Suns erase a huge deficit in the fourth quarter to come back. The chance for Nowitzki comes up short. It was a 10 3 run in the final 55 seconds. And the best show that the NBA can give you is going to give you some more. It's a great week for basketball, isn't it? Overtime from Dallas between the two best in the league right after this.